on Israel. Um, our understanding is that talks are restarting between the U.S. and Israel about rescheduling that meeting that was supposed to be held this week on Rafah. Um, so what is the U.S.'s understanding of why Prime Minister Netanyahu is having this apparent change of heart? Did the meetings with uh, Defense Minister Golan go particularly well this week and uh, came to that conclusion? So obviously I'm going to let uh, 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 the Prime Minister speak for himself on that first part of the question. What I can say on, on Israel more broadly, as you ask me about uh, meetings that, we, that, that were held here, uh, they were constructive discussions with Israel's defense minister over the last two days. Uh, Rafa was one of the many topics discussed uh, with Jake Sullivan, Tony Blinken, uh, Lloyd Austin, and Bill Burns. Uh, the prime minister's office uh, has agreed, has agreed uh, to reschedule the meeting dedicated to Rafa. So we're, we're uh, now working uh, with them to set, to find a convenient date uh, that's obviously going to work for both sides. But he, his office has agreed uh, to, uh, to reschedule that meeting that would be dedicated uh, to Rafa, which is a good thing. Um, thanks, Green. And actually, on that note, we had received a statement from the Prime Minister's office saying that Netanyahu did not approve the departure of the delegation to Washington, so disputing that they agreed to the rescheduling. Could you just talk about what might be going on? So, look, I would say that as we are working to set a date, the Prime Minister's office agreed to uh, reschedule uh, this meeting. You, you saw that the defense, uh, the Israel defense minister was here for two days, extended a day, and added another day to meet with uh, Jake Sullivan, Tony Blinken, Lloyd Austin, and Bill and Bill Burns. So that is the conversation that we're having. We are working to convene uh, that uh, that meeting, an important meeting on Rafa. And uh, when we have a date, certainly we'll share that with you. That is what we know from our side. And what is the message that Defense Secretary Austin had to Gallant about the alternatives in Rafa. I'm just not going to get into uh, specifics of uh, of those conversations. Obviously, as I just stated, uh, Rafa, uh, the operations, uh, the military operations more broadly, uh, Rafa was was indeed uh, discussed. But I'm just not as topics obviously that were discussed. I'm just not going to go into further details. And have talks for that hostage deal and ceasefire have they reached another stalemate? And what are the sticking points on it? So I can confirm uh, that talks continue, and we are the United States is actively engaged in those conversations. Uh, we remain hopeful that we can we can broker a deal to secure the release of hostages and establish a temporary ceasefire. This is something that we've been asking for some time. A ceasefire uh, and this hostage deal obviously would allow us uh, to uh, bring home some hostages to their, to their family, to their loved ones, and they include American hostages as well. And as well, uh, bring into Gaza that all important humanitarian aid that is needed in Gaza on the ground. Uh, I don't have anything beyond that, but we can confirm that uh, that we continue to have uh, this incre incredibly important conversation on getting that hostage deal, which would lead to a ceasefire. Okay. Just following up on uh, what Selena was saying, Karine, does the administration believe it was able to convince uh, Israeli officials to take a relook at a potential Rafa operation after the series of meetings that he had with uh, the administration? So look, I, I I mean, Rafa obviously was part of the part of the agenda, uh, their military operations, uh, and so I'm not going to go into detail. It is important that we have heard from the prime minister's office that we are going to reschedule uh, and try to lock in this meeting uh, with uh, with their obviously uh, their folks on, on on the Israeli government side and and folks here. And so I think that's important. I'm not going to get into into that. They, um, I, you know. They, uh, I would say, they discussed how best uh, to ensure uh, ha Hamas' lasting defeat in Gaza and the need to, to protect civilians. So, of course, that was part of the conversation, uh, but I'm not going to uh, provide any more details beyond that. Is the president thinking about reconsidering sending arms to Israel, given, you know, the unfolding situation and the, the unfolding humanitarian situation in Gaza? That is, that is fresh thought. That is, there's nothing new there. There's, that is not under consideration. As you know, we have, um, uh, we have, uh, we have done more to get humanitarian aid into Gaza with the airdrops. You, you know about the pier, uh, and we're working with, uh, obviously, with Israel to get to make sure that we get more of the trucks inside uh, of Gaza. It is incredibly important. We know the dire situation in in Gaza as it relates to humanitarian aid. And but the most important thing, the most important thing here is to get that hostage deal so we can get the humanitarian aid to get those hostages back home to their family uh, and it is and it would 
uh, we believe would lead to a ceasefire, obviously. And so that is what we're working towards. We've got to get that hostage deal uh, done, and we are actively, actively uh, continuing those talks. Restricting weapons to Israel should also be a top uh, consideration. I, I'm not going to get into into you know into hypotheticals, into conditions from here. We've been very clear where we stand, and we'll continue to do so. We want to get that hostage deal done. Uh, the talks con is active; they continue, and that is important to get that hostage deal, to get the ceasefire, to get that humanitarian aid into Gaza. It is incredibly, obviously, important as we, as you all have reported, uh, the dire situation in uh, in Gaza, and so that is our focus. We're going to get that pier going. We're going to continue the airdrops, uh, continue to get those trucks in, uh, working with Israel on that. I just don't have anything else beyond that. Go ahead. On the 